Hey yo! Beer review time. Coming back at you. So for starters, anybody who follows the channel regularly may have noticed I've been taking a few days off. Apologize for that. Back at it again. Beer review time. Coming at you live from sunny Kotao. Murder Island, thanks David. <laughs> so we got the first new review up. This is the Thailand tour. Flew into Bangkok uh, two days ago. Koh Tao yesterday. Did one review at the airport. That should have gone up yesterday. This will all be an extra day by the time. Anyway. We're at the villa in Koh Tao. It's lovely. I... <laughs> I was trying to set it up so you can see it, but obviously it's way too bright back there to see it. But trust me, we have a beautiful view from the villa. Uh, we're here with Dave's buddies, Tyler and Jenny um, from Georgia. They're all diving, and I'm all drinking. So we did a craft beer yesterday. Figured it would only be... Uh, Fitting to do a local Thai beer today. I was at the uh, 7-Eleven yesterday. Shout out to 7-Eleven. Thailand 7-Elevens are fucking awesome. Um, so they had a... We all know the Thai beers. Singa, Chang, Leo. I think it's pretty uh, standard ranking. Singa's the best. Not that it's great. It's the best. Leo's a cheap alternative made by the same brewery. And then Chang is dog shit. I think that's what most people have them at. I'm going to go back and check the archives because I'm pretty sure I've done the, all those beers. Double check just in case. Anyway, I'm uh, filibustering for no reason. So there's a Singa limited edition. I did some research on that. It's just different cans signifying their different logos over the years. It's the same beer. So we're not going to review that because we did sing Singa already. I'm pretty sure. But what I did find... Was a Leo, sorry for the back, I'll just read it for you. It's Leo Strong Brew number eight, Lager Beer, Strong Brew number eight, Singa Corporation, Boonrad Brewery. So I thought to myself, oh, a strong Leo. So that'll be like regular Leo, but stronger. And by definition, it is. But I did a little digging on the internet, and the Leo, the regular Leo, which we had yesterday, it was it's fine local lager. 5% alcohol by volume, 5.0% alcohol by volume. The strong brew lager beer, Leo number eight, is coming in at a whopping 5.1% alcohol by volume. So there you go. We did one sip, we give it a score of zero through 10. We try them all until we try them all. <laughs> when we get, so we got a few days here and then we got two nights back in Bangkok at the tail end of the trip. I don't think we're gonna find any craft beers in Koh Tao. Definitely gonna find some beers when we get back to Bangkok. Shout out to Hair of the Dog, Peter Spolino. We're coming to get you, bud. One sip, everyone knows the rules. Try them all until we try them all. It smells clean. I'm not, I don't have, obviously, super high hopes for this. When I was, when I thought it was a strong Leo, I was excited. When I found out it was 0.1% stronger than the regular Leo, I was like, nah. One sip, let's see what we got. Yeah, it's fine, you know, it's fine. It's cold, it's light, it's crisp, it's easy drinking. Again, expectations play a big part in these reviews sometimes. I had no expectation of this beer to be any kind of awesome. But it's, it's good. It's fine. It's a light local lager. One sip, everyone knows the rules. I could drink this all weekend. I, <laughs> I am drinking this all weekend. I think you know where we're going. If you're uh, 
if you're a regular viewer and a fan of the show, this beer fucks. Not particularly well, <laughs> but it does fuck. It's a 6.9 Thailand tour getting going. That's a review.